Welcome to the South Carolina Teaching Standards Training Day 3. This is Faye Colley with the Office of Educator Effectiveness and Leadership Development. You are about to learn the environment rubric. Please take a moment to read these research quotes that support the environment rubric. For this portion, make sure you have your SCTS 4.0 rubric. After looking at the rubric, I want you to be able to answer the question, what connections do you see with the instruction domain? This is the environment domain. Environment indicator is projected on the screen. The environment domain has four indicators expectations, engaging students and managing behavior, environment, and respectful culture. When you look at the rubric, remember to focus on the proficient column, which corresponds to rock solid teaching, or as research shows, produces a year's worth of student growth. I will now model for you how to pull keywords or descriptors from the environment domain and connect them with indicators and descriptors in the instruction domain. So let me model for you how I make the connections between the environment domain and the instruction domain indicators uh, descriptors. So on this left side is the environment um, rubric the 4.0 rubric on the environment domain, and on the right side is the instruction rubric, or to be more specific, the instruction domain of the SCTS 4.0 rubric. So we want to focus on proficient because we talk about proficient as rock solid teaching. The first bullet here that I see on our updated environment rubric states, teacher engages students in learning with clear and rigorous academic expectations for every student with aligned materials and resources for student to, students to access. So I'll highlight this, and I can even just stop at this section of the descriptor, and I can highlight this and try to match it with something that's in the instruction domain. So I am particularly looking at standards and objectives, and again, the proficient column. And as I read through these descriptors, I see that bullet four says expectations for student performance are clear, demanding, and high. So I will highlight that. And of course, you don't have to do this digitally on your screens, uh, you should be able to print out a copy and practice making this rubric connections on um, written format of the rubric or printed format of the rubric. So let's do one more example in making connections. I'm going to scroll down to this next indicator of the environment domain, which is engaging students and managing behavior. As I read through the descriptors on the proficient column, I see this third bullet that says the teacher uses several techniques, um, e.g. rewards, intrinsic motivation, approval, contingent activities, and consequences that maintain student engagement and promote a positive classroom environment. So I'll highlight that and I'll use a different color to uh, reflect which ones I'm matching. And now I move back to the instruction domain of our rubric, and I look at the indicator motivating students. And as I read through the descriptors under proficient, I see this uh, third descriptor that says, the teacher regularly reinforces 
and rewards effort. So these, these two are definitely connected. We say that the rubric is holistic and interconnected, and we just did a quick exercise together on how to do that. So your activity is to do the same. I will pull the copy of the document that you'll be working on. So I just modeled to you how I did this. You will find a document um, in the classroom that's called Environment Rubric Review. And as you match the descriptors between two different um, indicators between environment domain and a different indicator in the instruction domain, You'll just fill in what you identified as the indicator and the descriptor for each side of this um, table for each column. So the example has already been um, put in for you for the first one. <laughs> 